bluefin tuna are awesome. And I don't mean sort of cool, kind of neat awesome. I mean inspiring feelings of awe and great admiration awesome. <laughs> when I first learned about bluefin tuna, I didn't really think this. I thought they were sort of boring fish, kind of big-headed. Look, you can draw them with three curved lines. <laughs> but then I started to learn about bluefin tuna, and I changed my mind. And I'm going to tell you some of the things I learned. First of all, bluefin are huge animals. An average adult bluefin is, is longer than I am tall and weighs more than the biggest sumo wrestler. A really big bluefin is more than 10 feet long and weighs as much as a smart car. And these fish are athletes. A bluefin literally never stops swimming. It'll suffocate if it swims slower than a walking speed for you and me. And it usually swims at about eight miles an hour. And that's twice as fast as Michael Phelps can swim a 100-meter butterfly. And they're not just swimming around in circles. These fish migrate back and forth across entire oceans. In one scientific study, there was a tagged tuna named Terry who swam 25,000 miles in less than two years, going back and forth across the Pacific. So that's what they do when they're just cruising along. But when they're in attack mode, a tuna turns into an aquatic missile. Its dorsal fin retracts into a groove on its back, and its pectoral fins fold back into grooves on its side, making it perfectly streamlined. In this configuration, a bluefin can burst forward at over 40 miles an hour. That's twice as fast as a bottlenose dolphin at top speed. So these fish do extraordinary things. But what's the most extraordinary thing about them is how they do those things. You see, a bluefin tuna is a warm-blooded fish. Now, when I first heard that, I went, wait, what? Mammals are warm-blooded, birds are warm-blooded, fish are cold-blooded. And there's a reason why the vast majority of fish are cold-blooded, and that's because fish breathe water. Their blood absorbs oxygen from the water rushing past their gills. The problem with that system is that water absorbs heat 24 times better than air does. So in a standard cold-blooded fish, their muscles produce heat, just like yours or mine. But the heat goes into the blood, the blood goes to the gills, the gills serve as radiators, they transfer that heat, and the fish's body temperature is the same as the water around them. Well, what about bluefin tuna? They use a lot of oxygen, and in fact, they have over, well, up to 30 times the gill area of other fish. Well, bluefin have evolved a heat exchange system called a rete mirabile, which means miraculous net in Latin. And this is how it works. In a bluefin, the cold, oxygenated blood leaving the gills doesn't run down the center of the fish through its core. Instead, the arteries split and run on each side just underneath the skin, far away from the warm core of the fish. Then, where the artery branches off and each branch goes toward the center of the fish, that blood vessel runs right next to the vein that's bringing the warm, deoxygenated blood outward. That network of blood vessels serves as a countercurrent heat exchanger, and the tuna's nervous system can regulate it to maintain a near constant body temperature. It's up to 99% efficient. And the bottom line of that is that a tuna swimming in 50 degree water off the coast of California can have a core body temperature of 85 degrees. Now, being warm-blooded is a huge deal if you're a predatory fish. Bluefin tuna hunt particularly effectively in the areas where cold, nutrient-rich water wells up from the bottom of the ocean, sparking an explosion of life all the way up the food chain. In those cold waters, a bluefin has an advantage over its prey because its warm eyes see better, its warm muscles produce more power, and its warm nervous system is more coordinated. Being warm-blooded, is what makes bluefin tuna badass fish. <laughs> so I've reached the point in virtually every nature talk where I tell you that humans are terrible and we're killing off the animals and they're threatened or endangered. And yeah, um, humans can be pretty terrible. And we are um, overfishing the bluefin tuna, particularly in the Atlantic. But I don't want to leave you with that. I don't want to leave you feeling sad or guilty about bluefin tuna. What I hope instead is that by telling you about these highly evolved animals, that I've shared some of the sense of wonder that I felt as I learned about them, and that you'll agree with me that bluefin tuna are truly awesome. <laughs>